Oh, oh, okay. Everyone knows that the song basically ends there, Cujo. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. It's the best 10 minute song. Uh, 10 minute. God damn it. <laughs> Oh man! So I realized uh, while we were recording the last episode that oh, I was. Did you realize that uh, the last uh, game devs play games advertisement still isn't uh, you know what you and Nathan and uh, not. Uh, <laughs> You're still upset that uh, I, I don't, I'm not upset. About the the I'm game devs play games I'm ad did not include Kujo. I don't. So so why? we 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 made an ad for for the channel. Um, mm -hmm. For for multiple and who reasons. Is in it? Who is in it? Um, the important people. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> See if I buy you Thai food again. Wow. Hey man. Yeah, I said it. Hey man. Hey man. So so um, we made a, an ad for the channel, and that was basically because a um, YouTube actually has a a thing for um, like showing your ads for free if it feels that there are like the right people. Mm -hmm. That will want to see your show. <laughs> They're the right people. Well, I, you know, I don't know. Cool. Glad that that's a thing. <laughs> um, but we also wanted to kind of try out um, the the video marketing stuff on YouTube to see if it would help us out at all, because you know I've never done this before, and a lot of our YouTube experience thus far has been very experimental because none of us have done anything on YouTube before. We really wanted to start doing stuff on YouTube, and uh, oh Jesus. I don't even know what this does. Oh. Oh. Ooh. Oh my. Okay. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Uh, uh, oh, no. Oh. Uh, oh. Uh, Where is it? Yes. Oh. Yes. I Whoa. really, I really like how this That's game is, cool. has uh, evolved as we've been playing it. Oh. Yeah, boy. Bam. Teleport over here. You say that more than wow. Wow. Yeah, what? boy. I really. Oh. Let's go. Ending right there. No, no. I'm. I'm over. What do you mean you're over? I'm here. Oh, come on. <laughs> um. So and anyway, I was going oh. to say, what? You fell off the ledge. Oh, son of a bitch. So I was gonna say, uh, son of a bitch. at the very Jeez. beginning of the episode, before Kujo so rudely interrupted me, yeah, that I, I didn't realize that I was still wearing. So we're we're using a new microphone, um, partly because the Arcane Duels guys stole the mic that we usually use to record some stuff while Whatever. they're at Dragon Con. Okay. Um, and, uh, and meanwhile, they apparently don't know how a tripod works. <laughs> Love you guys. <laughs> yeah, no, just Justin Cochet on the show. Uh, he he called me at least three times, being like, "All right, so so how do I use the microphone? Do do it? Do I have to have the the lights for the microphone to be on for it to work?" And like, <laughs> yes, Justin. <laughs> It has I, to I, have the L and R lights on. Good I job. actually really like uh, at one point because I heard some of the conversation and I I thought it was Nathan because you know Nathan. Um, oh well, yeah, and, he's pretty uh, derpy when it comes to technology too. Yeah, it's it's quite shocking. Um, it but really at one point, is, especially since he's my partner in game yeah, development. I know. <laughs> uh, at one point, um, what was it? I heard. Okay, so this was this was what I heard. <laughs> I don't oh, even no. know if the microphone picked that up, but... <laughs> did you... Did you tighten the thing? Yeah, I mean, I tighten it. Oh! <laughs> 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 and he, you were in the kitchen, and I heard that from in here. Yeah. It, no, I, in the kitchen on the moon. I, I think Justin just didn't realize that. So, and most tripods, uh, the mounting head has... Jeez, jeez. Go, go, go. Most go, go, go. mounting heads have um, kind of like this little handle that will also double as a um, as a, a joint to like. Um... Fuck! Oh, jeez. Damn it! Yeah. I tried to make the game full screen and it broke, and now I keep doing this. I'm sorry, everybody. It's like me with Devil May Cry 3 right now. Yeah, right, pretty it's... much. Um, fantastic right now. But, but anyway, uh, most most tripods have most mounting heads have like that little screw that you can tighten and and it's you know whatever. Um, like you know, like you whatever. you change the angle of the camera. Bam! All right, I finally said it. 
You did the exact God. same thing. I keep thinking that there's platform over there because I only get that really, really brief moment to look over there. Um, so anyway, <laughs> Justin didn't realize that the handle also was a screw and just couldn't figure out that that's why the camera kept drooping on him. <laughs> he he called okay. me, he's like, so the camera's drooping. Am I doing something wrong? <laughs> Damn it. I got it's okay, it. technology is hard. <laughs> yeah. It is. It is. Like, um, it's, sometimes people... I feel really validated, though, when, when I get these phone calls, because I'm like, they they really do need me, don't they? Well, that's like, um, <laughs> I fix um, iPads and oh, iPhones shit. and all that stuff, and uh, my least favorite one to fix is the iPhone 5S. Um, the people that I've run into that have walked in with an iPhone 5S, for some reason, they're all angry. Um, <laughs> I think you're just talking about people that own Apple products. No, well, no, there are some really <laughs> nice people. Um, I'm, I'm so, just kidding. I, I used to own an iPhone. Ugh. Used um, to. And there were there was the other day. Uh, someone came in and was like, um, "Hey, can you fix my iPad screen?" I was like, "Yeah, sure, it's fine. Whatever." I, I, did it in a I couple mean, hours, you know, that's what deal. they pay me to do. So uh, yeah, it's kind of my job. Um, and, uh, so I fixed it, whatever, he sent him on his way, and, uh, one of the things I always try to tell people is that if the frame, hey, here's a little educational bit that has nothing to do with the show, I'll go ahead and enlighten you guys on some Because day work. jobs totally have. If, uh, you have an <laughs> iPad, and the screen is cracked, and the frame is bent in, it's very difficult to put a new screen on. It's possible. Difficult. So, oh Shit. my god, Chris. They keep tempting me, man. Well, don't follow the temptation. It's because I'm I'm rushing through it because I want to get through this level so we can go to the next one. Uh, uh. So, customer came in, guy's iPad fixed, left, happy, cool, whatever, made some money, cool, great. Forty-eight Good story. hours went by. Oh, get a phone call. Hey, dude. Um, so it broke again. It's like, did. <laughs> what did, did you do? I was more like, okay, what happened? He's like, what? Well, it fell. <laughs> and it, it cracked the screen. Can I, does the warranty work for that? It's like, no. Not even you, a little bit, no. you dropped it, buddy. Where is the, is it moving? I don't, shit, shit. Running out of light. No, 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 finish your story. Uh, <laughs> Yes, this is the prime opportunity for me to finish the story it when is. you're losing your mind. Um, <laughs> so he came in and, like, had the, like, sheepish, like, well, here's the iPad. Here you go. I was like, yeah. That's cool. It's fine. I only just spent, like, three hours yesterday doing this. It's fine. I'll do it again. I mean... It is my be job. To be well, yeah, I was gonna say, like, at the end of the day, you're still getting paid to do it, so does it really matter anyway? Well, like, don't fall off. Oh, there it is. Okay. Chris, you've been through this. I know, I, I know, know I know, times. I know, I know. It's totally the, like, paradigm, like, the more you play it, the worse you get kind of thing right yeah, now. Yeah, well, those fire fairy fuckers are really playing... I don't know why. That's... <laughs> It's what came to mind. So, so I don't know if it maybe it's the dick mic that's in our face. Yeah, right we're now. so we're using a shotgun mic now, which really we should have been using for a while. Oh, shmm, shmm. <laughs> Shit. I, yeah. it, it always that takes me by surprise. That might be my new favorite uh, <laughs> sound. Oh. Where is it? Where is it? There it is. Oh yeah. That might be my new favorite sound. Shmm, shmm. <laughs> oh man, that reminds me of um. So, I'm sure we'll come across this at some point. Um, in terms of my taste in video games, I do not do well with first-person shooters. Don't go down. That's what it was. Okay, so I saw... I saw that... Oops, I keep clicking out. Mm -hmm. I saw the, um... Oh. The, the, the platform just to the... Oh, mm -mm. The, uh, the left of it, and I thought I was on it. Got it. Hey, you did it. Um, I don't play first-person shooters. I don't. Do you know why I don't? Because I suck. I've I've there, I've accepted that this ooh, is a thing. Falling platforms. Well, first-person shooters are a, a heavily skill-based kind of game. Yeah. Um, and it generally requires a certain level of um, uh, like, uh, what what do you call Awareness. it? Um, it's like reflex time. Um, you need to be very very quick 
Oh, like you need to be right now. Uh, I, I, I mean, I'm doing fine. What? I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, boy. Oh, oh boy. No. <laughs> no. Okay, so no. It's, it's little moments like this that that ah. really make me love this game. So it's this game is pretty simple in its design, right? Like, it doesn't you know, offer us a ton of super, super new stuff. Like, the core mechanics are interesting and, and pretty different from, like, normal games. Um, but it's moments like that that really, really shows how well designed this game is because it's so, it's so interesting. We've played so many games where it's like, okay, this is the same... Oh, I see. It's the same, uh, <laughs> it's the same, you know, kind of, like, boring shit, just kind of rehashed in a different way, you know? Um... Kingdom as well. It's uh, the last. Well, oh man, the last one that I think we played on the show that kind of was like that. Aside from Devil May Cry. Um, well, somebody was, did reveal it was an unfinished game. Yeah, actually, that was really surprising to me because I had. And I won't um, lie, that actually. Uh, it explains that hurts a lot. A little bit. It hurts a little bit. I love that series, and no, I'm a little upset back. that Ooh. that they would do that because yeah. it's not like there was a crazy rush. Well, publishers, man, that's... so well, that's, that's the thing. Like, 3 had come out, like, years before. It, but did it make enough money? 3 was one of the best in the series. But did it make enough money? I'm pretty sure it did. I mean, I stopped it, too, so... Well, that's your fault. <laughs> but that's that's the thing, like... What man, is happening? <laughs> oh, damn it. I, I think that because of 2's failure, it made that game, uh, made other people stay away from that game. I actually disagree. Um, Promotion-wise, it actually did really well promoting the third one because in, um, I don't think it was Game Informer back in the day, but whatever. Um, it talked about, it, it did a full spread on Devil May Cry 3. It was like the feature article. And it was talking about how everything that we had been frustrated with too is gone. Like, it specifically said, like, even the writers of the articles were like, guys, guys. Oh, shit. Guys, but a game can get a good good. review, but that doesn't mean it's gonna sell well, you know? It's not a number one. In that case, I would rule that, uh, back when game trailers were just, you know, game trailers, um, rather, gametrailers.com was just game trailers. Um... I was wondering about that the other day, yeah. actually. I was looking remember, at that remember site. Remember that back in the day? I, well, I, I never knew about that site back in the day. but really? I Really? Yeah, I started paying attention to it more recently, and I was like, I wonder if uh, they did more interesting things back in the day. Game trailers uh, brought back my love of Devil May Cry. Interesting. Yes. Uh, when Devil May Cry 3 had its um, oh, like okay. spread in... Uh, Game Informer or whatever, I was like, oh, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll keep an eye out for it, but, I mean, I don't know, I kind of, I only played the first one, I, did, I never played two, because I heard it was just awful, and, you know, I, why would I do that? Oh. Damn. Um, um, yeah, okay, finish your story. Okay. Um, I was on GameTrailers.com, because my friend, uh, Jeff showed me, I think? And um, I was like, oh, they just have game trailers? He's like, yeah, dude, you could see some of the shit that's coming out. I was like, oh, that sounds awesome. I watched the intro video, and by say, rather the intro cutscene for Devil May Cry 3, and I instantly fell in love. Well, I'm not surprised, because that was when they decided that they should put a bigger budget on their, uh, their cinematics. Right. Uh, oh man, I remember looking at that. At my both me and my buddy Jeff were freaking out because <laughs> it was so uh, it was so ridiculous and so much fun. Anyway, that's, that's anyway. Yeah. So that's this is the end of the episode. Uh, just because remember how we were going to do uh, two episodes? Huh? Yeah, well, we're really bad at estimating how many episodes anything's going to take. I was you we were, say we. <laughs> yeah, well, you know. <laughs> We recently did um, the Curious Expedition, Nick and I, and uh, we were like, "Yeah, we'll do uh, we'll do a playthrough in three episodes." It ended up being eight episodes. <laughs> so uh, yeah, there's that. Nice. But anyway, uh, we will see you in the archives. Yeah, and don't die, don't die, do not, do I not, bro. Oh my God, what did I just say, bro? I I, I got this. <laughs> <laughs>